Hey, what's up everyone? BrickLover18 here today, and I just got back from the Lego store where I picked up a Lego Pick-A-Brick cup. I haven't picked a cup in a little while now because of COVID and everything like that, but when I went there today to actually return a set, they had a ton of really cool parts on the wall, so I was like, I know I can't leave without filling a Pick-A-Brick cup. So that's exactly what I did. I know how much you guys love watching me open these up here on camera, so I'm really excited to show you some of the pieces that I got in this Pick-A-Brick cup. So let's go check it out. All right, so I've got the pick a brick cup here. There is actually a pretty decent variety of parts included in this cup. Like I was just filling things off the wall. Um, there wasn't necessarily a, like a, a purpose or anything in mind. I just wanted some cool parts. So let's dump it out. I'm trying to do it slowly so the parts don't go absolutely everywhere. Um, but very cool here. Oh, there's some pieces that got in. And you'll notice the lid the lid and the cup are actually two different colors. It's like this lid is a little bit yellowed. But um, other than that, I'll set that to the side. You're not here to hear me rant about the cup. But as you can see, these are some of the pieces um, that I got inside this pick a -brick cup. There's some pretty cool ones in here, of course. And I'll show you them in a bit more detail. All right, so here are some of the pieces that I got. I figured I'd show you this way. It's a little bit easier. So the first thing I saw on the wall that I knew I really wanted to get a bunch of were these one by 2 uh, dark tan jumper plates. Now, many of you know I tile my city with the dark tan 2 by 2 plates, and the one by ones are kind of hard to come by. So these one by 2s are great. Not only do they fill the gaps where I don't have one by 2 regular dark tan tiles, but they have studs on them, so I can use them for minifigures to walk on, um, things like that. They're just, they're perfect, amazing tiles. I always, if I see them on the wall, I'll always get a few, and I just keep stockpiling them here in my Lego collection. I picked up a bunch of these. I believe they're called Palisade Bricks, um, but I do really like them here. They're one-by-ones with this out, like this insert, this pulley on the side. They're great for detailing. There was so many used in the Roman Colosseum. I don't believe I have any particular purpose for these just because they're just cool bricks. I grabbed a bunch of them. I figured I'd throw some in my Brickling store as well just because I feel like they're a good one to have. This one I wasn't really expecting to see on the pick brick wall. As you can see, it is the cobweb, which is really cool. I've got a few of these in certain sets, but I have never seen them on the wall before, so I stocked up on a bunch of those. I'm going to keep a few, and again, probably just list like 10 or so in my Brickling store um, so other people can get a chance to grab them. I left a bunch that were still there. Uh, they're really awkward parts to kind of fit in the cup, so I just kind of stacked them together like you saw and try to combine other parts in between them. So I'll move those to the side. As you can see, as some filler bricks. I grabbed a bunch of these one by one bricks with the stud on the side. They're always helpful. I always use them and they normally go under things. So no matter what color it is, they're perfect. Um, continued so many of these obviously right here. I really just filled my cup up. I grabbed a bunch of these one by one flower pieces in the, um, the azure, light azure color, I think it's called. Again, always getting flowers from my Lego city, so I figured might as well grab a handful of these when they see them. These I thought were pretty interesting to have on the wall. These are the uh, one, these are the two by eight uh, slider plates, I call them. I've used these in a couple of buildings. They're perfect for glass doors, but they're the full railing, so not just the part railing. Um, the full one, you can fit a whole stud in there. I grabbed just a handful of these because, again, I have no real purpose for them. Um, but I figured I'd throw a few, obviously, in my drawers, have them for my Lego collection. Um, there was a few of these teeth bricks, which are the one-by-one one with the overhang. I have a bunch of these in white from the last time I was at the Lego store. Um, but I hadn't really seen them in the pearl gray color before, especially on the wall. So I figured I'd grab some of those as well just to put them in my collection. And then last but not least, the last parts that I threw in the pick cup again just to kind of fill up some space were these one by two sloped uh, pieces sloped plates I'm not even sure what you call them as you can see these are great for detail they're smooth um, and they've got like a half triangle piece right here um, so not too bad pretty decent parts honestly I think it was a pretty good selection I always love going to the pick brick wall and just filling it up seeing what they have and having a great time and you know getting a bunch of parts for my Lego collection as you can see down here I have been to several pick brick walls in my lifetime so thank you guys so much for checking out this video i really hope you enjoyed let me know down in the comments below if you've been to a pick a brick store recently and if you found any really cool parts or anything like that i'm really always curious to know what other lego stores have so thank you guys again so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe looking forward to seeing you here in the next video